Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and the only TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. It is Monday, August 24th. I am Royston Fernandez. A special news reel today is sponsored by Surat based MRK Industries. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices slipped last Friday following reports of new pandemic cases having surged in the vital economic hubs globally, leading to renewed and extended lockdowns, further rekindling fears of weak demand for crude oil. Brent crude tumbled by 55 cents, settling at $44.35 per barrel, while WTI futures declined by 48 cents, settling at $42.34 per barrel. According to one in a hurry of Vanda Insights, crude futures were marginally higher early Monday in Asia, with the modest gains of 10 to 15 cents per barrel, despite 1 million barrels per day of oil production being shuttered in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico indicating oil demand concerns were dominating sentiment. Last Friday, open spec NAFTA prices rose by 4 U.S. dollars per metric ton at the 403 U.S. dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Last week, despite higher upstream costs, ethylene prices declined sharply in Asia. Price plunged as demand trends continued to remain sluggish across the Asian regions. Reports of sufficient product avails further supported the price drop. Last week, propylene prices gained in Asia. Price climbed higher mainly on account of higher upstream energy rates, stronger demand trends in major markets like China. Let's take a look at the futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today on August 24, 2020. LLDP E prices are higher by 15 RMB per metric ton at 7,090 RMB per metric ton. PP prices are down by 16 RMB per metric ton at 7,678 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are up by 5 RMB per metric ton at 6,650 RMB per metric ton. In plant news, Zoink, an United Coal Chemical Company, has bought on stream its 350,000 metric ton per year PP unit on August 20, 2020, following an unplanned outage. Located at Huena, Anhui, Province, China, the unit was shut for unplanned maintenance on August 16, 2020. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Surat-based MRK Industries, one of the largest sellers of packaging film in India. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Monday, August 24th. I am Roshan Fernandez. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.